Welcome to Helena's Kitchen. This show is for you who are interested in food and beverage. This show would also have something for everyone, from a home-cooked meal to a five-course dinner. And with my Swedish background and culinary experience, I now wish to take you for an adventure. So welcome to join me here in my kitchen. On today's show, we are going to make a potato pancake. A potato pancake is great for breakfast, can also be a wonderful brunch, where um, we serve, we're going to serve it with apple, we're going to serve it with crispy bacon, and lingon berries, which is a Swedish specialty, but could very easily be substituted with cranberry, and also a little bit of sour cream to bring in some more acid. So here on the table we have some ingredients that we're going to be using for our potato pancakes. And uh, to start with, for the actually pancake mix, we have egg, milk, flour, butter and salt. And of course the potato must be an ingredient. And then for the topping we have bacon, apple, we have lingonberry and we have sour cream. And like I mentioned earlier, the lingonberry can be substituted with cranberry sauce. So now we're going to start with the actual procedure to make the potato pancake mix. The first thing I'm going to do is to melt the butter. So I'm putting that in a cup. Depending on uh, if you use the microwave or if you use um, the stove, in the microwave you can probably get away with about 30 seconds to to melt the butter. What we're going to do now is to crack the eggs. Here we now have the eggs in the bowl. I'm going to mix them a little bit. Then we're going to add a little bit of the milk. And this is a one and three quarter cup of milk. I'm going to add just maybe a quarter of that. Then I'm mixing in the flour. And why I'm just adding a little bit of milk is because when you start mixing in the flour, you don't want to have too much liquid in there because it's going to clump up more easily. We want it to be a really smooth and nice paste, paste, or mix, or batter, I should say. And this is one cup of flour that I added in. Adding the rest of the milk. And to this now, we're going to add a pinch of salt and melted butter. And when I add the butter, I whisk constantly. Because when the warm butter hits the cold milk, it's going to stiffen up directly. So you want to whisk while adding it so it gets evenly out in the batter. Then we're going to put this aside for a moment. The potato I washed and scrubbed off first. Now we're going to peel it off. And by the way, if you haven't got one of these, get one. It's the best peeler in the world. Next step will be to grate the potato. By the way, when you do this, <clears throat> you want to use a light shirt or you want to have an apron that goes all the way up to your neck because it splatters potato juice a little. So the next step will be to put our potato into the mix. And 
and I'm going to take the whisk and just stir it around a little bit. You don't want to whisk too much into it because then you get potatoes stuck in the whole whisk, so just push a little bit on the top. So now we're going to prepare the topping for our potato pancakes. So first I'm going to cut the bacon. I'm going to prepare our apple. The apple I'm going to shred just like I did with the potato. Um, and uh, so we're going to run that with the, sh with the peel on because I like the vitamins that you get out of the out of the uh, apple peel, or the apple skin. Now we're going to crisp our bacon. I want to take down the heat. You don't want it to be too hot because it's going to splatter far too much. While cooking the bacon, we're going to heat up another pan for our potato pancake. You see the bacon is now starting to turn really nice and golden color. I'm going to cook it just a little bit longer so it gets really crisp and nice. And now we're going to start up our potato pancake. You want to go on a medium heat. A little bit of oil. In the bottom. Remember there is butter in the mix already so um, it's not necessary to have extremely much oil in there. I stir around a little bit. And then we're going to have to have patience. Uh, so this is our bacon, crispy and nice. We're going to put that aside. And now we're going to finish up our potato pancake. You see how it starts to coagulate and come together? What you want to do is take a spatula and go around the edges. I'm going to take up the heat a little bit. But what you can start doing is look down under and see if it starts to get a little golden color. So what I do now is that I work my little magic with this, with this uh, spatula under the pancake just to release it so you ease. So now you can do the, you can use the safe way which means use the spatula and flip it or you can always take the risk See if it's loose from the pan first and flip it like that. Doesn't that look yummy? Golden brown potato pancakes. So here we are with our potato pancake, fresh from the stove. We're now going to move it down on the plate. So, time to get ready to serve our potato pancake. So first I'm going to place some nice shredded apples. A little bit of nice crisp bacon. And then we have the sour cream. And last but not least our yummy lingonberry jam. So what can be better for breakfast or brunch? A nice cup of coffee and of course a potato pancake. I hope you will enjoy this recipe and uh, good luck with making it. For myself, right now, I'm going to see if so this came out exactly how I wanted it to. You want to see so you get a little bit of each ingredients on each bite.
very tasty, a little crisp. Enjoy very much. Have a wonderful day.